Hey, what's going on, guys? Spider-Man and Gwen Stacy are featured on the upcoming cover of the SVX magazine. Now, the magazine itself might have some new deals and information, so stay tuned for that. Now, what's really interesting is the tagline on the cover. After this movie, Peter Parker is never going to be the same. Never. I'm just saying, why are you putting this uh, on, on the magazine cover? <laughs> Probably a really nice tease, you know, uh, I mean... They are preparing us, I suppose, but whatever happens in the movie, and we don't know what happens, uh, it will change Peter Parker a lot. Now, spoilers ahead, Darth Vader is Luke's father, no seriously, Gwen dies, and um, we all know this. The death of Gwen Stacy is one of the most, if not the most, defying Spider-Man moment. It what made Peter Parker what he truly is. It's the moment in terms of character development and uh, the death of Gwen Stacy haunted Peter for quite a while. He's been seeing hallucinations in the original comics and he, he's been uh, in a huge depression for lots of issues. Uh, so hopefully Mark Webb will do it right and we will see the actual consequences of the death of Gwen Stacy in the third film. It shouldn't be like, well, Gwen is not there anymore, but let's go have fun, you know. Whoa! No, it's not, it's not supposed to be like that, you know. Personally, I think the Venom spin-off film, uh, logically, would be wise to follow right after the Amazing Spider-Man 2, since Peter is still in a huge depression, he has anger for not saving Gwen, he has depression, he has anxiety, and at this point, Symbiote could help Peter uh, truly help him, well, not really help him, but enhance his abilities, seeing how in a bad and anger state he is, and that's what makes Symbiote so happy, you know. We will see the consequences. I uh, even thought they will probably introduce Mary Jane in the Amazing Spider-Man 3, which is sh once again should be before the Venom spin-off film, honestly. The Venom origin story is probably the best story, of, the best Venom story due to the fact that he was actually was messing up with Parker and his uh, wife, Mary Jane. He was messing up big time with them and uh, he was really teasing with Mary Jane and it was really... It, I mean, there was this uh, scene when Mary Jane came back to her apartment and uh, Venom was already sitting there waiting for her. I mean, if t in, in the movie it, sh it could be really creepy and I really want a Venom spin-off film to be scary, you know? It should be really interesting to see if Peter would be already with Mary Jane before his encounter with uh, Venom. Anyway, yeah, tell me what you guys think, tell me what you guys think about the cover, thanks for watching, stay tuned for the full review of the magazine in the upcoming days and I'm off for now.